Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, trapezoid uh, A, B, C, D along with this uh, segment uh, E, F as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, this segment uh, E, F is being represented by X whereas our other bases are 19 and 26 units respectively. The segment uh, B, C is 25 units. And finally, this segment uh, ED is 13 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the value of uh, X. In other words, we are going to find the length uh, of this segment uh, EF. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see all these sides uh, a b this segment ef uh, and this uh, base uh, c d are parallel to each other since all of these uh, are making a 90 degree angle and in this uh, next step i have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, b p on this uh, base uh, c d and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, segment uh, d p is going to be equal to this uh, base uh, AB. If this base is 19, then this segment uh, DP is going to be 19 as well. And furthermore, uh, we know that this whole uh, base uh, CD is uh, 26. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, PC is going to be 26 uh, minus 19 is going to give us uh, 7 units. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BPC. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to calculate uh, this uh, side uh, BP. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 25, whereas our two other legs are uh, 7 and this uh, unknown leg uh, BP. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, BP square plus uh, 7 square equals to 25 square. And we are going to subtract uh, 49 from both uh, sides. And we can see they cancel each other out. So therefore, BP square is going to be 576. I'm going to undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore, uh, our uh, this uh, BP length uh, turns out to be positive uh, 24 uh, units. So thus our uh, this uh, side uh, BP turns out to be 24. And here's the alternative approach. And now let's recall the Pythagorean uh, triplets 7 24 and 25 and we know our known lengths are uh, 7 and uh, 25 so therefore this uh, unknown side is going to be 24 indeed and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, angle uh, btf is going to be 90 degree angle as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, side ad is going to be equal to this uh, side uh, BP and we know our BP length uh, is 24 so therefore our AD length uh, is going to be 24 units as well and furthermore we know this segment uh, ED is uh, 13 so therefore uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, AE is going to be 24 minus uh, 13 uh, is going to give us uh, 11 units so thus our this segment uh, AE turns out to be 11 and furthermore we know that this uh, segment uh, BT is going to be equal to this segment uh, AE. If this segment is 11 then this uh, BT segment is going to be 11 as well. And now we can see our this uh, base uh, is uh, 19. So therefore uh, this uh, segment ET is going to be 19 uh, as well. So now our task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, tiny segment uh, TF and I'm going to label this tiny segment TF uh, as uh, lowercase a 
and now we are going to find the value of uh, lowercase a and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, b p c this whole right triangle and let's focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, b t f uh, as well and we can see that both of these uh, triangles are our similar uh, triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem since we can see this angle is 90 degrees uh, and this angle is 90 degrees as well and this angle is common to both of these uh, triangles so therefore we are going to have a proportion so therefore we can write the ratio of uh, side uh, pc and uh, pb is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, side uh, tf uh, and the side uh, tb and now we can see how this uh, pc length uh, is 7 so I'm going to replace that one with 7 over here. Our this uh, PB length uh, is uh, 24. So therefore I'm going to replace that one with uh, 24. And this uh, tiny TF length uh, is uh, lowercase a. So I'm going to replace that one with lowercase a. And finally this segment uh, TB is going to be this segment which is 11. So I'm going to replace that one with 11 over here. Now I am going to multiply both uh, sides uh, by 11 to isolate uh, A and here we can see 11 and 11 is gone. So therefore uh, our lowercase a value turns out to be if we multiply 11 times 7 is going to give us 77 divided by 24. So thus our this uh, segment uh, TF turns out to be 77 divided by 24. And here's our final step. We know that uh, this whole uh, segment uh, EF uh, is going to be equal to the sum of these two individual segments uh, ET and uh, TF as you can see in this given equation. And we know our uh, EF uh, is uh, X, our ET length uh, is uh, 19 and our TF length is 77 divided by 24. So therefore we can write uh, x equals to 19 plus 77 divided by 24. And now I can tweak this uh, 19. 19 could be written as 4, 56 uh, divided by 24. As you can see in this uh, next step. So this way we got the common denominator. So thus uh, after all the simplifications our x value turns out to be 533 divided by 24 units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be 533 divided by 24 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 22.21 units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye